want to pray against debt in your life. No more debts. Trust me. I've been in the church for some years. Debts and borrowing, they are not helpful things. And even the pandemic is showing us something. You know, this pandemic, it has just started. We don't know how it's going to pan out. If God has mercy, there may be some abatement. But if not, it will consume the world, even to, to consume currencies. Even currencies will be consumed. People who have money will regret having money. Yes. If, if it continues. <laughs> yes. That's a small thing. So, let us, I want to pray a prophetic prayer with you that in the time of famine, God will bless you and God is changing your status. Look, Psalm 37 has, verse 21 has two status. Status is there. A wicked borrowing and not being able to pay, which is more, many people, you borrow, you can't pay. Most people who borrow can't pay. Even student loans can't pay back. It takes a long time before it's most small student loan can be paid. <laughs> and then the righteous man who shows mercy and gifts. Beautiful. Do you want your life to be that way? How many are choosing status two? So this is a status two offering. Psalm 37 verse 21 status two. Status two offering. That according to the prophetic word of Psalm 37 and verse 21, status 2, I am joining status 2, number 2, where I show mercy and I am a giver. I am able to give. Beautiful. What did I say? Beautiful. Psalm 37 and verse 21. Okay, this one, we are not giving towards any building or any project. We are giving on Psalm 37, verse 21. Amen. And we are praying with it that Lord have mercy. Status 1 says the wicked borrow and is not able to pay. Well, I don't know whether he's not able to pay, but he doesn't pay. Maybe he can pay, he doesn't want to pay. Or maybe he can't pay. Because maybe the reason why he went for the loan is also not even a good, or whatever it is that he borrowed. Do you understand? Maybe there's a pro, an underlying problem which is already so deep that borrowing the money is not going to solve that problem. Okay. Because of the underlying problem. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Anybody listening to me, don't mind anyone who says your credit rating and whatever. It is if, if I was not a Christian, I would use a certain word. You see, but I will not use that word. But you can imagine the word. Do you see? It's nonsense. Credit rating. It's nonsense. It's, it is a, a created word by banks to make you borrow from them. Your credit rating. How absurd can you be? <laughs> the rate of credit. Rating of your why do you need red? Why do you need the rating of your credit? My credit rating is zero. I have zero or negative credit rating. I don't have anybody that I owe by the grace of God. Yeah. It's credit rating. It's, n- it's nonsense. It's created words by art students who couldn't oh. get science and have gone into arts and are trying to make something complicated, sounding so complex. Most finance ministers, when they speak, we don't understand what they say. Why? Something that is Far simpler than uh, uh, art, uh, science. When they speak, we don't understand most of the things they say. Sometimes I look at it and I say, wow, it's a very fantastic thing to be, I mean, in charge of the economy and whatever. But it's not so. It's very simple. Here's stones, here's sand, here's cement. Make a road. That's all. <laughs> Zero is bigger than minus five. But... Anyway, today you are coming out of status one. Amen. The wicked borroweth and pay not again. 
And then you have to be declared what? Highly indebted and poor citizen. Lift your offering, take it, let's pray. I'm praying a prophet. This one is not any building matter. It is a prophetic prayer on Psalm 37, verse 21. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray as we come before your throne. My God, my God, wonge tango lango dambo. Remengede baramandolo parabili bandol bagajadege. Carlo Magan Tagal Tabo Temege Banazanade. Let the curse of debts, the curse of mortgages, the curse of borrowing and not being able to pay again be taken out of our life once and for all. Do it, Lord, wonderfully. Every chain that we are in so deep that we cannot extract ourselves. Thank you, Jesus that today marks a prophetic end. By a prophet, you brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, you established and preserved him. May this prophetic word that we are speaking today bring many people out of borrowing and not being able to pay. And may they be translated into the realm of showing mercy and giving according to Psalm 37 and verse 21, part A and B. Bless everyone who is part of this special seed, or whether it's a hundred of this or a hundred of that or whatever. Bless in every country, every child, every member, every person. Set us free Hallelujah. from wickedness and set us free from financial uselessness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let the spirit of Beli Yahal be taken out of our lives. We bind that spirit of uselessness and worthlessness. Adaroma, Adaroma, Maroma, Taramora, Marabolaba. That power, the Ramada, that makes us look good on the outside financially, but in reality, we are full of debts and holes and mortgages and trouble. My God, my God, grant us power so that even in famine, even in difficulty, we will be buoyant. We will be surviving. We'll be doing well. We'll be blessed. We'll be above board. We'll be able to show mercy and we'll be able to give. We thank you. Famine shall not wipe us out. The wilderness shall not wipe us out. The dryness and the dry season shall not end our lives and shall not end our financial blessing. We thank you. We rebuke the canker worms and the pama worms and the evil locusts and vampires that drink our blood, that drink our money, that drink all that we have and take away our blessing and our livelihood. We rebuke the eater of the corn the eater of the oil, the eater of the wine, the one that devours all that has been in the storeroom and in the storehouse. Let there come a liberty from the mouse, the rat, and the, the rodent, the spiritual rodents that take up all that we have labored for. Every cobra lying in our garden, every cobra lying in our storeroom, that eateth away our good things and threatens us in our good places. We rebuke that cobra. We identify it and we cut off the head. Anora Makaba, our storeroom is now safe and it is a blessed place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.